Okay, people, so we've got some spoilers for the upcoming chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Now, unfortunately, I never talked about the last chapter, so I'll be having like a double video once the full-on chapter for the latest stuff of Dragon Ball Super comes out, where I'll talk about the previous chapter and the upcoming chapter. Don't worry, I already read it a long time ago. It's just that I hadn't gotten around to talking about it. But we got spoilers for the upcoming chapter of Dragon Ball Super, the rough draft pages. And I'm not even gonna lie, I'm actually kind of excited for this. Now, I'm not excited for it in terms of on like a critical aspect like oh shit this sounds like it's going to be a masterfully told story or anything like that but it sounds nostalgic it sounds like it could be fun and it's very reminiscent of something we've seen before which that could be a bad thing at the same time but I don't know seeing these draft pages well a little bit of it because I didn't really go through the whole thing uh, I'm kind of excited but we'll, we'll, we'll see let's jump into it let's read we got a synopsis or a summary of what was shown on those draft pages and we'll talk some more Make that's how it be though. The chapter opens showing a planet in ruins. Spaceships from Frieza's army are floating in the sky and through the smoke are shadows of three great apes and that was one of the things that immediately hooked me like oh my god this sounds yes finally yes i love uzuru in, in, in the story yes the scene switches to someone hiding in a house before being discovered by one of the apes with a scar across its face Bodaku, Bordak, ah! granola suddenly awakes it seems he was dreaming about his past that is so freaking fly like yo he's connected to goku via the father oatmeal asks if he's had the same dream again oatmeal says that things are fine and they obtained og 73 without issue and that they're not being pursued having destroyed Goichi's ship well enough in fact Goichi has seen devastated that OG 73 was stolen again it's then that oatmeal suggests granola enter cold sleep as they're still far away from their destination that even sounds reminiscent of like when Vegeta and Nappa were falling asleep on their spaceship on their way towards earth okay that's kind of cool granola declines as he's already awake okay <laughs> never mind that uh, oatmeal asks if he still hates Frieza's army to which he replies he does that sounds so like the this is his backstory. This is his motive so far. Oatmeal inquires that since Frieza died, his army are just bugs. They have nothing to fear from. Granola heard that too. And Oatmeal says Granola should forget about them. But Frieza's still alive. So he doesn't know that Frieza's been resurrected. He doesn't know about Resurrection F or the Tournament of Power or anything like that. Okay, okay. Granola says he's not wrong. The ones who killed his race, the Serialins, were the barbaric monkeys in Frieza's army. They seem to have this appeared from a meteor destroying their planet oh so he really don't know shit he's down bad on ter in terms of knowledge and wisdom he's lost the target of his vengeance so he doesn't understand why he's still having the dreams oatmeal asks if these monkeys were called scions and granola confirms okay so that's the major setup that we got so far that that's going to be like the motive of this guy it sounds very tuffle esque from that synopsis right there it sounds very baby-esque it kind of ties in nicely with them putting in super baby and the latest uh dlc for dragon ball fighters and stuff like like that but that's basically kind of cool that they're putting in the bardock stuff but it's also similar ground it's not the tuffles obviously it's the cereal and so basically we're fighting vegetables versus cereal but <laughs> the scene switches to beerus's planet where goku is seen trying to catch the oracle fish so whisk can give him an injection oracle fish is unable to sleep so he needs a vitamin to do so vegeta is surprised the fish can have sleep issues and whisk says that it can happen and that usually when he can't sleep it's a sign of a bad omen vegeta is surprised again and we says it's not something to trust goku is disappointed because he was getting excited about maybe another strong guy <sighs> goku puts the weight of the universe on the shoulders of him having a good time classic goku beerus yells at him for always saying things like this and getting beerus in trouble goku wonders why beerus is upset and we says it's a few things goku then continues his training with Whis, and he ships into ultra instinct as they begin to battle okay so for starters it's doing two different things the the first part of this and again this is probably like nine pages or so usually they give us information and an idea of like the first eight to nine pages or whatever so for starters let's talk just a little bit about granola and also oatmeal which these names yo toriyama come on fam we're fighting cereal but definitely it's tied obviously which i really really like that like i'm, I'm a bardock fan and i know it's fan service or whatever but you start off like technically the beginning of the arc was the last chapter but this feels more like okay we're getting now the reasoning we're getting the backstory and stuff like that you kick into high gear with some history of bardock and already we have a connection now because he's probably going to want vengeance once he finds out about oh shit like there's still you know sayings around there 
they're still around also about Frieza so it's not even going to be like Broly per se where like you know Paragus and Broly they initially teamed up with Frieza to kind of get vengeance and things like that he doesn't like either of them it's like Frieza was the one that was running them and the Saiyans were the ones that went crazy and then again we got Bardock baby Bardock which hands down I'm 100% saying right now and I'm almost certain about this one Broly is going to be involved in this because if this is about vengeance against the Saiyans against Bardock against Goku and Vegeta against even Frieza Broly is a Saiyan and even though he really has nothing to do with that because he was casted away uh, many years ago probably even before whatever happened to Granola's people or you know just in general like Broly suffered enough or whatever he's going to be involved so that's a very good sign Broly might be involved in all of this that's just right there if it's connecting about the Saiyans Broly this is his time to shine he didn't really get any mentions or anything like that and the moral arc but this will be a good way to incorporate him then i'm curious about why beerus is upset like we know in the last chapter we found out that Mirus was alive and all this stuff and maybe he's a little bit annoyed at goku like you know wishing for bad shit to happen so that he has a strong foe but i'm interested that's a good setup right there about beerus being upset about a couple different things so probably something is a myth that he's aware of or something along the lines of that also goku and vegeta continuing training and now it's stuck that goku can use ultra instinct at will seemingly if he uses it in this training against we so things is going smoothly i'm not gonna lie it is reminiscent of the tuffles and babies vengeance but if it's played differently not like a you know a parasite that is taking over their bodies if they do it differently i'm gonna be cool with it also i really like bardock <laughs> i gotta keep saying it and you think about it they're really gonna go full powered fan service with this like if you got bardock involved in some form or another it could just be that we get more flashbacks or who knows maybe there's some way that bardock can come back for a temporary period of time throughout the arc again i'm just talking fan service service shit like don't mind me and uh broly being involved this is going to be a good one a, uh, an exciting arc at the very least and i don't know how strong this granola guy is going to be i mean he got og 73 strength so got a little bit of a cheat because they kidnapped him or whatever but yeah this sounds like it's going to be fun at the very least curious what you guys think about this for starters what is beerus mad about why is he upset about a few different things also this whole backstory of his connection to bardock do you think that that's going to and and you know the saiyans in general that's going to mean that we're going to see broly in this arc again we didn't get broly in the last arc of moro and your thoughts and expectations for this one honestly like I i'm not too keen on the names this whole s the serial ends like jesus christ like really T toriyama this sounds like a a health commercial in a sense like the cereal the unhealthy sugary cereal versus the the vegetables like god damn and your thoughts and expectations for this arc or or this chapter at the very least so far um uh, the, the beginning of it sounds exciting uh, I'll, I'll give you that and again i will talk about last month's chapter alongside the new chapter when it comes out but yeah granola cereal ends Toriyama. Well, we might get Broly in this one and some Bardock. So I'm, I'm kind of happy so far. So I for this one though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links in the description below. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life. Bye. Have an awesome day. Peace in. And yeah, seems as though the next arc in Dragon Ball Super is kicking into high gear. Let's go. It's nights like this and times like this What's that? that I can give another hit. But I've got this inside a switch, a natural bliss. But that I miss.